Hi traders, a short recap of my trading session today. Let's take a look at mRNA and NVAX. And you know what? I'll start with my PL. I'm slightly in green territory at three winners, three losers, but let's concentrate on NVAX, which is up $7,000, and mRNA, which is down almost $7,000. So I had one loser, one winner, and I want to talk about both of them because it's kind of interesting to understand what happened here and the big mistake I made today by going long mRNA. Now, that's something that you could use. That's something that you could definitely learn from. And let me just uh, show you or explain to you a little bit about my trade in mRNA and why that was a mistake. Now, if you watch mRNA, it started with a gap up. It came down, reversed. I went long somewhere over here. That was the right thing to do. There's nothing wrong about it. The daily of mRNA looks great. The intraday is okay. I mean, it could be a gap and go. It came down, reversed. I went long. At some point, I was in green. Then it came down, hit my stop. I was out. I had a loser. What was the mistake then? The mistake was I did not watch NVAX. Now, normally, when I'm trading mRNA, I'm always watching NVEX. Some stocks trade in pairs, like airlines and Boeing, and so on and so on. Some stocks trade in pairs. mRNA and NVEX are normally a pair, which means if you're going long mRNA and NVEX does not support that trade, you shouldn't trade mRNA. And you shouldn't short NVEX and so on. You understand what I mean here? So normally, I would have these uh, small charts where I would watch mRNA and alongside it always will be the chart of NVEX. So what went wrong today? What went wrong today is I had too many pre-market picks and I had to kind of give up one of them. So I decided I'm going to give up on NVEX. I just had mRNA all along there. <laughs> I, did, I didn't have NVEX alongside it. So I was watching mRNA, got excited for a short while there, clicked the long button, went long mRNA, and uh, as you can see, the rest is uh, a red trade. So mRNA came down, and I should have watched NVEX. I did not. Well, the good part in the story is that once I watched NVX, I saw, oh goodness, I should have watched it. I did not. Look at that. NVX is reversing at the same time that mRNA is reversing, just that NVX is in red territory while mRNA is in green territory. And that makes it an interesting short. So if NVX is weak and at the same time mRNA is coming down, mRNA in fact just broke down under the lows before NVX broke down under the lows, I posted this one for short at 166.50, somewhere over here in our trading room, and it went fine. So I had a winner in NVX, but once I went short NVAX, I did see that mRNA was trending lower, so that was my confirmation to go short NVX. So some stocks are, are trading in pairs. You should look at the pair, at the sister company of the stock that you're trading. It's not always there. I mean, not all stocks are trading in pairs. So sometimes when they do, like mRNA and NVX, you should be watching them. I did not. That was my mistake. Anyway, I finished in green today and always happy to finish uh, in green on Friday. And I want to thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumb up. It really helps our channel and helps more people like you understand more about uh, day trading. And if you liked us, you can join. You can subscribe to this channel right over here. And I want to thank you again. There's plenty of links below if you want to trade with us for a free 14-day trial and more. So see you next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.